Hey, girl, what's up with you? Wait a minute, is this the right number? It's, um, the loser line. Come on, just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Oh. Let's say a weird guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line on you. Well, hey, sweetheart. Oh. I wish you were a computer oh. so I could select all on your clothes and hit delete. Oh. <laughs> of course, okay. I'm going to use the shortcuts for that. Yeah. <laughs> After yeah. he says that, whatever you do, don't ask him what it's like to be a real-life adult virgin. Instead, yeah. give him the number to the loser line, so hopefully he leaves an awkward voicemail <laughs> that we can play over the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. This is Betty from Hinge. I'm looking for Daniel. I'm glad we made this connection, and I'd like to get right down to it so that we can see if this is going to be a fit. I can meet tomorrow between 12.30 and 1.30 in the afternoon. I will be dressed professionally. I expect discretion, and you are to say you're a friend from out of town. Nothing more. No one is to know that we met online. Don't divulge any personal information about yourself, not even your name. There's to be no discussion of past relationships, politics, television shows, or movies. They're just all signs of weak minds. If these (laughs) guidelines are acceptable to you, then I will see you tomorrow. If not, whatever, you'll no-show like all the rest. Oh, oh, next message. Wow. Yeah. I was wondering, like, if, if that's who you're... I mean, that was a higher situation, right? Is that what I was I was, was wondering if that's what Brooke's dates are like with her husband on <laughs> yeah. the first thing. Like, you will not make eye contact with me. No yeah. one will know we that's are together. Talk, and her husband's like, wow, well, I'm horny now. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. It is our anniversary. You really get him. You yeah. get him, Jose, and I like that about you. Yeah, women yeah. in a position of power. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of a turn on, you gotta admit it. Yeah. It's so weird she doesn't have any clients yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was sexy next message hi um it's it's me um remember you ran me over oh. with your shopping cart the oh. other day in the store and oh. and you promised you'd pay my medical bills what? i just got back from the doctors and, and there's good news that they were able to save my big toenail oh. they glued it right back on oh. thank god i saw it on the ground and picked it up or I'd have to grow a new one back, but uh, I don't want you to feel too guilty about this, but uh, you should be more careful. But uh, anyway, um, the, the medical bill, it came out to $714 oh, oh. and uh, the foot cream's an extra cost. Uh, so um, could you send me a money order or, or maybe go through your insurance? I don't know. It's up to you. Oh. Uh, just, just let me know. Next message. Get out of here. This guy wearing flip flops in the Walmart yeah. or something? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. And honestly yeah, that's like, true. Do you know how many big toenails I've lost in my life? A lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot, okay? You, you wouldn't have saved it? No, you just throw it away. You get to grow a new one. Your feet are amazing that way. This There's guy no came, into the, he came into the clinic with a toenail oh, no. on ice. Like, oh, God, <laughs> please. <laughs> the only way I get rid of the toenail polish that I never take yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> but grow a new one. Yeah. Speaking of feet, you know who just got runner-up at the National Entertainment Awards for Best Tootsies in Terrestrial Radio? Oh, yeah. Who was it? Was it you? It wasn't us. Oh. oh. Well, we were hoping okay. to get that. Yeah. Instead, we just got the award for Most Classless TikTok Channel. Uh, yes, we do. And you should go there to see the top loser line of the week <laughs> and a bunch of more lowbrow classless content God. that we throw up on there yeah! every single okay. day. Hey, we know our lane. That's right. Okay. <laughs> We'd be honored to have you be a part of our TikTok channel. Aww. Now let's get back to the clips. Next message. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> this is Ter- I cannot wait to see you again. But in the meantime, mm. I just wanted to do something really intimate for us. And I know a lot of girls would send their their nudes or whatever, but it's not the kind of gal I am. Mm. Oh. I'm a little different. So I made you a sculpture oh. of my body. <laughs> and I think that's a little more personal, honestly, than a picture that's a, a one of a kind piece of art, as well as an image of myself. So if you text me back your address or whatever, I will overnight that to you. I think you will like what you see. <laughs> um, maybe at some point I can make us like a matching set, you know? Call me back. Huh. Next message. <laughs> 
should you keep that in your house if that arrived? Yeah. A nude statue of somebody. Right I mean, in the entrance, I bet. You think? Yeah. How big is it, Not though? as discreet when you're talking to two girls at the same time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Little line of sculptures. Oh, check yeah. out my new girlfriends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, feel free to just high-five her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's in that pose for a reason. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's such a that's good image. That's amazing. I hope it's a full-on statue. I hope she did, like, a, that she can do another one. Send one over to us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Do Jeffrey like Michelangelo's David. Yeah. Yeah. I well, love that it. That big? Yeah. <laughs> Next message. What's up, Marianne? It's bling. You're about to take a ride on the bling train. Because oh. <laughs> remember, I, I, I mentioned I do the, the announcements on the train at the zoo. Oh. All aboard! Oh. Chugga, 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 chugga. And uh, let's see. What do we have up here on our left? Why, it's our first date this Friday at Chewy's. Ooh, oh. What a charming little booth I found near the window. And what a charming personality I brought along with me. <laughs> anyway, continuing on the Blaine train. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> well, what's here on the right? Oh, it's, that's me picking up the check. And it looks like I got the three for 25 deal. What a prudent decision financially. <laughs> hmm, I must be pretty smart. <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, up, up here on the left. Is that makeup point? Oh. Full speed ahead, I say. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, looks like your dad's hiding behind a bush. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm totally kidding about the dad part. But um, I, I seriously would like to uh, take you out. And, uh, you know, if it goes well, I could get you half off passes to the zoo. Hey. So, uh, call back the b- train. Chicka, 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 chicka. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Next message. Oh, oh, man. We are all on board the Blaine train, baby. You know, I'd buy a ticket. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. Uh, Alexis, love are you going to call dibs? Only if I get it for free. <laughs> train ticket. <laughs> I'm not paying extra for that. You won't get, just take 50% off? No. Oh. 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 What if you let you make an announcement, yeah. though, on the train? It's a prudent financial decision. <laughs> <laughs> he sold himself. Remember, listen to Loser Line regularly at this time every week, and make sure you subscribe to the Brooke and Jeffrey TikTok page yeah. where you can hear our favorite Loser Line every single week right there. We're going to do a phone tap next.